Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. So let's talk about familiar spirits. That is what have a lot of people in bondage people. Praise God. Praise God. And so we're going to talk about that tonight because of the fact it is very detrimental. I'm talking about this is a spirit that's so real and look how real it is. You ever been going to a church 20 years, five years, 10 years. And the only reason you really go to that church is because your mama, 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 or grandma, 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 grandma have been to that church. It's called familiar spirits, but we're going to break that thing down. Familiar spirits is this. This is a big subject. I could probably do two or three videos on this. So I'm going to try to keep it small, but it's a lot of information. And one of the reasons that I'm bringing this up is because I had a young lady ask me um, when she goes to this church, the pastor always says negative things to her. And she's been going there for 20 years. Now she's young. Um, I think she said two years. I'm sorry. Or last. I don't I don't remember. It was two or 20. But here's the thing. Every time she goes there, he says something negative to her. Well, young lady, because I told you I was getting ready to do this video anyway. That's not God. Because here's the deal. We're not perfect. We're all processing. We all process different on different levels. He's supposed to encourage you. So what if you don't see you but once a year? Oh, well, how you doing? God bless you, sister so-and-so. Nice to see you. Our position is to stop trying to make people be saved. Our position is to pray for them to get saved. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're doing too much. I'm going to tell you right now, we're doing too much. And I'm a whole pastor, preacher, teacher. We're doing too much. I used to try to, and God had to, you know, I had to learn a lot. I, 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 I'm still learning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody process differently. The way God deal with me is different how he deals with you, but he deals with you. And our position, and I'm going to say this, I pray that everybody listens. Our position is not to try to save people. Our position is to pray for them. We can't save them. The only person can save is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Our position is to show people and actually to live the life, a, a true authentic life, that this is what God done for me. He can do it for you. This is what God is doing for me. He can do it for you. This is how, who God is. We're supposed to point people to God. You know why we have a problem? Because everybody's pointing them to themselves and trying to be famous. Don't get me started. So let's stick with the subject at hand, but it's familiar. And a familiar spirit is why, have you ever had somebody say, I don't know why I'm in this relationship. I don't know why I'm with this man. I don't know why I'm with this woman. I don't know why I'm on this job. You have gotten familiar with it. That's why you don't really like it. You don't really love it. But you, you're comfortable with being familiar with it, meaning that you've gotten comfortable in your mess. So come on, somebody. But I'm, I'm going to walk this thing out. I'm, I'm going to walk it out. So let's talk about the definition of familiar. It is well known from long or close association. But hold on. <laughs> in close friendships, intimate. But now let me tell you what the noun is. A demon supposedly attending and obeying a witch often said to assume the form of an animal. Did you know that's the noun of familiar? Oh, I'm going to walk this thing out tonight, you guys. Let me tell you something. Everything's a spirit. Everything's a spirit. I keep telling y'all that, but I'm going to prove it to y'all tonight. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is a familiar spirit. Now, here's the crazy part. I have a lot of information, okay? the Oh, man, the thing went. They, they don't like this subject. Messing with my, um. that's all right, I found it again. Okay, so familiar spirit, it first was um, introduced in European folklore and folk belief of the medieval and early modern periods. Familiar spirits sometimes referred to simply as familiars or animal guides. Now y'all see why they have the horoscopes and all those animals. I'm going to break this thing out so small and so real. Y'all going to understand what time it is. Y'all going to quit tripping too. Talking about, wow, we can't look at horoscopes. You're going to find out. And then when that stuff get attached to your life, you want to act crazy. Talk about, well, I don't know where this demon coming from. Um, You invited it in. Because demons can't just come to your house. Demons can't come into your life without an invitation. They have no authority. Luke 10, 19, you have all authority. They could only come in and possess a form of your life or anything if you invite them in. That's why they're always trying to get in. Come on, somebody. So let's continue. Were believed to be supernatural entities that would assist witches. Notice what they do. They are six witches. That's what this is all about. You know how the anointing? The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit assist us. Now I'm teaching y'all about demons for real. Let me tell you something. All these demons do is assist these witches and warlocks. They're not that powerful like y'all think. 
Yeah, they have power, but who's assisting them? That's just like God assisting us. Come on, somebody. That's why I asked y'all, which one you repping? Say what you want to say. Play them games. So anyway, it says that they would assist the witches and cunning folk in their practice of magic. According to the records of the time, they would appear in numerous, come on somebody, hallelujah. They would appear in numerous guises, often as an animal, but also at times as a human or a humanoid figure and were described clearly defined as three dimensional forms, vivid with color and animated with movement. Now y'all understand why cartoons, Disney and all of them, y- y'all better understand this stuff gets so deep, but I'm gonna try to I'm try to break it down for you tonight. Yes, yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. Okay. So anyway, um, by those alleging to have come in contact with them, unlike later described them as ghosts. Oh Lord. Now y'all understand why they call it the familiar. Come on, somebody, and why mediums try to tell y'all, oh, I'm t- I'm com- I'm conversating with the day. No, you're conversating with demons, making them people believe. And the sad part is the demons will form as one of your family members, and you'll be believing that stuff. Talking about, oh my God, that's that's uncle. No, that's a demon, chef. I love you. That's a demon. All right, so let me continue. When they serve the witches and warlocks, they will often be male violent. While working with cunning folk, they were often thought as um, also as the former characterized as demons in the latter and also as fairies. Ooh, now y'all understand why they love all these fairies and the tooth fairy. Their main purpose to familiar was to serve the witches and the warlocks <laughs> and they were to come into new powers. Can I tell y'all that's all witches and warlocks do. They summon demons just like we as God. And, and, you know, it's just the same thing, just different uh, entities. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. But I'm gonna walk this thing out. Hold on. Let me go to the next one. It's a lot of information. It really is. Okay. Now the first story of ever a familiar spirit, guess what? It was a priest, 40 years, and guess who, oh, y'all ain't gonna believe this one. Guess who the first familiar spirit that was actually recognized was Elizabeth, the first one of England. <sighs> y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all think this again. Some people just, okay, so anyway, let me tell you what they say a familiar spirit can be disguised as. Hold on. Okay. Lord have mercy. Look like they're trying to do something with my own. Okay. All right. So, all right. So the first, thank you, Jesus. You know, that thing went backwards. Okay. I got it. All right. So let me tell you what familiar spirits, they're alter egos. Now y'all understand why people say, oh, I have an alter ego or a dobla ganger, a personal demon. Oh, y'all get it? Spirit companion, succubus, incubus. There is the double alter ego in the individual that does not look like the individual. Now y'all see why people transform like y'all say, ooh, they face is disfigured. That's because that's that demon in front of them or in them. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Even though they may have an independent life of its own, it remains closely linked to the individual. So these are called familiar spirits, which can be an animal companion too. Now y'all understand why they're always trying to form something like an animal as well. All right, let me continue. It says an unusual method or explanation is that also medicine sends familiar spirits. Mm, there it goes, pharmacia. Now y'all understand why it says pharmacia? Assistant of totem, spirit dog, spirit child, or whatever form, it gathers information. Oh my God. And then it puts you in a sleep trance. Don't some of that uh, medicine make you high as a kite? Come on, somebody. Y'all understanding this stuff? And it's called spiritism and familiar spirits, and they control the. So when you're under the influence of medication that gets you high, like narcotics, you are under the spirit of familiar. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so basically, okay, praise God, praise God. So that is all. What? No, no, no. I got one more um, thing. Familiar spirits are most commonly small animals such as cats, rats, dogs, ferrets, birds, frogs, toads, and hares. They were also cause of wasps and butterflies as well as pigs, sheep, horses. Familiar spirits were usually kept in pots of baskets lined with sheep's, sheep's wool and fed a, a variety of things including. So here, here's what they do. Oh, my God. This is how they, they kind of like, I guess, get people. They put this stuff, the witches and the hexes and spells, they use milk, braid, meat, and blood. I'm going to say it again. I know it sounds nasty, but I'm trying to, that's why I tell y'all to pray over everything, but y'all think this again. 
All right, so they make a brew, a witch's brew. And with these familiar spirits, what I just named, I'm going to name it again. Cats, rats, dogs, ferrets, birds, frogs, toads, and hares. Sometimes wasps and butterflies, pigs, sheep, horses. And what they do is they keep it in a pot and they line it with sheep's wool. And what they do is they put it in milk, bread, meat, and blood. Now y'all understand. Familiar spirits are hand down from earth to they are actually demons. All right. Praise God. And did y'all know this? Now this is wrong. Y'all know how they call that? At the Agathon themes like they have on Facebook. Do y'all know that they also name that as a familiar spirit, which is in the shape of a form of a cartoon, a human or an animal? Isn't that the same thing they be doing? And y'all, y'all ain't gonna like this. Y'all know them things on y'all phones that y'all just be putting all them little um things on y'all to make y'all picture look cute. You know, them wolf ears or, or the <laughs> rabbit ears. And don't y'all understand that's familiar spirits? I know I didn't bust some of your bubble because y'all like to put all that stuff on y'all, which I never understood because I don't want that on my picture and, and even as a game. So it looks like it's just a simple thing, but it's a familiar spirit. So that's all the information for tonight I have on that because that stuff can go on and on. That That's like pages and books. So I'm talking about familiar spirits. Now do you understand why it's hard for you to leave an abusive situation, even on a job, or even if you're stressed at a church or whatever the case may be, it's a familiar spirit because it keeps you in bondage. It keeps you oppressed, suppressed, depressed. People of God, let me tell you something. God wants, this is, thank you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. I feel the power of God. This is, we're going into a year and I feel the prophetic coming on. We're going into a year where God is saying, come out of her. Come out of bondage, restoration. Come on, somebody, revelation. God is freeing his people from every lie of the enemy. Hallelujah. He's freeing you. He's freeing you. He's freeing you, thus said the Lord. He said, come out, come out. I don't care what it is that God is trying to take you out of. It's not, it's not going to be easy because guess what? Familiar spirits want you to stay. Oh, you know how they used to say misery loves company? Them spirits don't want you to leave. Succubus and incubus don't want you to get out of that, that spirit. Um, I got to go here. Any sexual sins. They don't want you to get out of that. Any sins of the flesh. Don't you understand the enemy wants to keep you in bondage? So he sends familiar spirits. Let me tell y'all. Let me ask y'all something. Have you ever been dating and you say, why do I just attract these type of people? That's a familiar spirit, honey. That means that's something in you that needs to be delivered. Hallelujah. There's a spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We all have had to be healed and delivered. And truth be told, I'm about to lay it on you tonight. We are always in a state of healing and deliverance. Come on, somebody. As long as you're alive. Hallelujah. Because this flesh is a mess. Sometimes you touch the unclean thing. Knowingly or unknowingly. Sometimes you, you get with the wrong person. Knowingly or unknowingly. That's soul ties. That's familiar spirits. So we're always in a state of healing and deliverance. God heal me. That's why you have to be like a radar. God. And that's why you got to ask God. You got to ask God. You got to ask God. God, should I take this job? God, should I get married? God, should I leave this city? God, should I buy this? Y'all, God give the Lordship back to God. That the wisdom and discernment will come up on you. He'll tell you, don't do this. Don't say that. Don't go here. Watch them. You have to have the spirit of conviction, which brings on the spirit of wisdom and this, this uh, and obedience, y'all, and wisdom and discernment. You can't do this by yourself. I don't care how many degrees you get, how much intelligence you think you have. Them demons will whip you and come back and whip you again, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. The only way you can get through this thing is God. God got to see him and God got to tell you about him. Hallelujah. God to give you spiritual sight. Y'all need to pray the prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, give me wisdom and discernment, Father God. Don't let anything be attached to me that's not of you, God. And if it is, God, I ask you to sever it out of my life right now to the root of that thing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray over myself every day. I'm not kidding. God, is there anything in me that is not of you? Father God, I sever it to the root of that thing, God. Take it away from me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And the gifts in me, Father God, ignite them more. Let it be a fire, God, a two-edged fire. Burn up everything that's not of you, God. And everything that is of you, God, light it some more. Hallelujah. So I have the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire to heal, the fire to deliver. Through your name in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This stuff is real. You want the power of God? Then you got to let God be God. Hallelujah. You want to be healed and delivered? Then you got to go to God. God heal me. God deliver me. But hold on. You can't play with them demons one day and then say, well, I want to be delivered the next. 
You can't get delivered from what you like. Hallelujah. I'm just being real. Because some of y'all to the altar every week. <laughs> Come on. To the altar every week. And you wonder why they're looking at you crazy. Because you to the altar every week. Sunday you want to get delivered. Monday you want to get freaky. Oh, don't play with me. Don't play with me. And I love you. I'm just telling you the truth. And young lady, if you're still listening or you will listen to this, that's not God. We're supposed to love you all back to life, even with your sinful nature, because all of us fall short of the glory of God. All of us. We extend the same grace and mercy to each other that God extends to us every day. Because no one is beyond sin. No one is beyond that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We all can make mistakes. Hallelujah. I don't care how great you think you are. How perfect you think you are. How holy you think you are. You got to stay connected to God in order to walk this walk and talk this talk. Because the enemy is always tempting and testing. Allowed by God. Hallelujah. So, the familiar spirit is real. Whew. Hallelujah. 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 So God bless you. God keep you. This stuff is real. God is God is God is freeing his people in this hour. Devil can't help us. He said, No, that's my people. Hallelujah. God is real. He still has all power. Don't be fooled by what the enemy is doing because God is allowing him to do it. Oh, but I'm telling you, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. The power of God is coming heavy on this earth. You just wait for it, wait for it. See, a lot of people, they don't see miracle signs and wonders like they used to. So they, they think they got time to mess around and do what they do. But can I tell you something? God is ha, he's still on the throne and he's still in control. Just wait for it, God says. Hallelujah. So don't, 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 don't be fooled. And if something is not of God, you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to be ugly, but you don't have to deal with it. What am I saying? Young lady, I would stop going to that church and ask God, God, where you want me to go? Let me tell y'all something, and y'all better listen to this. Any place that is not feeding you is fleecing off of you. Any place that is breaking your spirit is not building your spirit. It's time out for that. People are dying. We don't have time to play games. Don't play with my spirit. Don't play with my spirit. Don't play with my spirit because it might be for my life. We're supposed to be building you up because guess what? You want to know when it's real? Not on that job, not at church. You know when it's real, real? Two, three o'clock at night when you're by yourself. You know when it's real, real? When something happened in your family. You know when it's real, real? When God allowed tragedy. Well, you know when it's real? Money can't help you. Sex can't help you. Love can't help you. Only the power of God can help you then. What you going to do when it comes for you? <laughs> it's time to get with God for real and quit playing. Play time over. I don't know if y'all looking around and seeing what time it is. It's hot out here. Them demons real. But God still has all power. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.